Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League was one of those games that not many people were really excited for. Maybe it's because of the delays or it could be the story or gameplay. But other than that, my pet that. rock convinced me to get all of the trophies before I go insane. This took me 28 hours to complete. There are 51 trophies to chase and with every trophy I earn, the more I want to step on Legos. This took a while to make, so please hit that subscribe button or I will take your right sock. We first get introduced by the squad. A woman named Amanda Waller is going to tell us what to do throughout the whole entire game because each of the squad accidentally put the bombs on each other's necks. By just completing the tutorial, we'll get our first trophy. I'll mostly play as King Shark because he is thick. We broke into the Hall of Justice to steal some gadgets, which will give us abilities for each of the Suicide Squad, except for King Shark because he's that guy. Afterwards, Green Lantern showed up and took us for a joyride around Metropolis, but he was already corrupted by Brainiac. Flash tried to help Green Lantern, but he he was too powerful for some reason. I don't know why, but he was. We captured the Flash and brought him to the Batman experience. Boomerang somehow has a finger fetish because he accidentally cut off the Flash's finger. What a weirdo. This may be the best mission in the game in my opinion. Why? Because you have to find an exit. Every time you'll leave, Batman will knock your ass out cold until you're the last one alive in your squad. After you escape with the Flash, you get the next trophy. After we got rolled by the corrupted Giga Chad Batman, we are now going to capture a Pokemon called Penguin. He will craft weapons for us. That's pretty much it. Next, we're going on a field trip. Yay! To see Vin Diesel. I mean, uh, Lex Luthor. So he can use the machine that he made to disable the bombs in our necks. But sadly, Amanda Waller came out of nowhere and destroyed the machine. Then Vin Diesel told us to grab some flowers from his garden, but then we stumbled upon Poison Ivy. Now she's a kid for some reason. She'll help us craft elemental status effects on our grenades and our melee weapons. I got introduced by the Riddler and it gave me PTSD from the other Batman games. But luckily it wasn't as difficult except for the riddles. It's like looking for a needle in a haystack. I had to complete 21 riddles in total and for this trophy i got it for solving five riddles there are also two other challenges for the riddler and i had to collect 40 trophies but for this one i had to get 10. the flash got corrupted by brainiac and we had to destroy this cannon to give us another trophy then lex luthor invented this flash destabilizer which negates his speed after that the flash killed lex luthor in the most brutal way possible he legit just took his heart and threw it at us i got pretty confident with these riddles so i found all 20 one of the riddles and let me just say it was torture as i kept on playing i eventually reached level 10 which gave me another trophy the third challenge for the riddler was to do these speed challenges and you had to get three stars for each challenge the first trophy was to get 13 stars i wanted to talk to penguin about his car's extended warranty all he wanted was my gun so i gave it to him and he re-rolled my weapon which gave me yet another trophy there are also side missions to complete and this one was from rick flag so i completed all of them but there are still more missions like these to come. We met this kid called Toy Man, and he fixed the Flash Destabilizer. Amanda Waller now told us to kill the whole Justice League, and our first target is the Flash. The boss fight was pretty aggravating because he was moving extremely fast, and my aim is shit. Then I eventually killed the Flash and got another trophy. When the Flash died, Brainiac captured the Flash inside of a portal, and we jumped into it as well, and we got teleported to another Earth called Earth 2, and met another Lex Luthor, but... He has hair. There was also this combat challenge in which I had to complete it five times. That trophy was easy. After that, we went inside Wayne Manor to get this yellow lantern ring to defeat the green lantern. Also, Wonder Woman was with us and she combined her shield with kryptonite to fight Superman. Once we got the rings, we fought the second member of the Justice League. The fight was pretty simple as well. I had to shoot these green constructs to lower his shield so I can damage him. Once I killed them, King Shark took the ring and turned into a green lantern shark. He summoned a ginormous shark to destroy the Brainiac shield. As soon as he did, Waller tried to nuke the Brainiac ship, but then Superman came out of nowhere and just took the nuke and flew away from Metropolis. He just let the nuke explode on him. I don't know why, but he is girthy. After that, Wonder Woman and Superman were cranking 90s and Wonder Woman stabbed Superman with the kryptonite in his heart. Usually that would kill him, but he just took it like a champ. Superman got pissed off at Wonder Woman and fired his Giga Chad lasers and obliterates 
Wonder Woman. The second trophy from the Riddler is to get 26 stars in the speed run challenges. Throughout the whole playthrough, I was using King Shark and it was really easy doing those challenges. A guy named Gizmo made us a Batmobile to find the Batcave because he's going to be our third target to kill. When we went inside the Batcave, there was a hologram of Batman that told us all of the weaknesses for each of the Justice League members, except for Superman. Then we got high as a kite with the Fear Toxin and the only way to beat this mission is to get even more higher. Harley Quinn conquered the Fear Toxin and Batman became an actual Batman. The fight was mostly just jumping and shooting and afterwards when we kill Batman he would actually become injured and we would have to bring it to Lex Luthor because he would want to steal blood from Batman to make it into gold kryptonite to defeat Superman. After that we brought Batman in the middle of the metropolis and Harley Quinn did the unthinkable. She pulled out a Glock from her sock and yeeted Batman right in the dome. Superman comes in and wants to throw fists at her. For the boss fight we just moved around and just keep shooting him until he dies. Once he died, we get another trophy to the collection. After that, I wanted to finish off the other speedrun challenges for the Riddler. So in total, I got 39 stars and I'm finally finished with it, but not yet. The torture is just getting started. Oh my gosh. I also wanted to knock all of the side quest missions off the board. So I started with Lex Luthor and I also completed all of the other hack missions as well. We now killed all of the Justice League, but we are missing one big bad boss and it is Brainiac. We get teleported to Earth 2 and Brainiac straight up transforms into the Flash. And the boss fight mechanics is the exact same thing as from what we did from the Flash. Two hours later, I demolished him and captured him inside of my Pokeball and brought it to Waller. Brainiac couldn't breathe inside of the Pokeball, so I threw him out. And out of nowhere, Waller got a pencil and shoved it right into his Mega Mind dome forehead. And that's how he died. There are actually 13 versions of Brainiac that we are going to have to kill. But currently, we could only kill the 12th Brainiac. So the one that we killed right now was a 13th one. That's where the story ends. And now onto the most painful experience I've ever had in this game, and they're called incursions. We'll get onto that later. But I first maxed out King Shark to level 30, which gave me a trophy. But I just realized I have to do the exact same thing on each of the other characters. Oh my god. Then I finally completed all of the Poison Ivy missions to get another trophy. I also had to complete all of the Gizmo missions as well. These missions required no skill, which was kind of cool and I really liked it. For this trophy, I had to supercharge one of my elementals on my weapons. Then I had to complete all of the Toy Man's missions to get me another trophy. After completing all of the Toy Man's missions, I decided to do the same thing for the Penguin missions. Now this is where the mind-numbing torture begins. We are also going to max out the other characters. And the second one I chose is Harley Quinn. Her traversal is ass. If you don't know what incursions are, they are basically extraction zones that you will have to defend, kill, escape, and repeat. For the next trophy, I would have to combine two effects into one. The highest rarity is Infamy. And for this trophy, I got my very first three tier one Infamy sets and I equipped it a bomb and it gave me a trophy. So then afterwards, I talked to Toy Man to make one of my weapons, an Elite, which will allow me to reroll specific perks on that weapon. I was completing two trophies at a time. The first one I just completed was reaching level 30 for Harley Quinn. And the next one is completing 50 contracts. Oh my God, these are painful. The best part for this is that I would have to complete yet another 50 contracts to get me another trophy. So I would have to do this a hundred times in total. The contracts are like bounties in other games. Hours later, I was at the 99th contract and I had to get 20 grunt kills with a pistol. And as soon as I got it, I immediately closed the game and touched grass. This was the final Riddler challenge I had to do and it was to collect 40 trophies across Metropolis. I had to run multiple incursions to reach rank 5, which gave me another trophy. The next trophy was the same as the contracts and it's called Raising Hell. In order for me to spawn in the Hell Squad, I would have to complete six challenges, but that would only count as one for the trophy progress. So in total, I needed to spawn the Hell Squad 10 times. After I maxed out Harley Quinn and I wanted to try out Deadshot as my third character. His traversal movement was pretty bad as well, but I was determined to reach level 30 to get that sweet, sweet trophy. This trophy was the easiest one to get in the game. All I had to do was to find this place in Metropolis called the Batman Experience and all I would have to do is press a button. For this one, it just summarizes all of the other Batman games into one. For this, I needed to reach incursion level 10 to get this trophy and also the higher incursions I go, the harder it gets. Same thing for the last trophy. I needed to complete level 15 in the incursions. This one is really easy as well. I just equipped three sets of tier 2 armor in 
and weapons. I can now finally use King Shark because I just maxed out Boomerang. His traversal is ass, but his abilities are pretty good. The final trophy for completing incursions is now over, but I still got to do more because that's the best way to get tons of XP. As I was grinding for XP on King Shark, I accidentally equipped three sets of tier three pieces, which gave me another trophy. And last but not least, the last trophy. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. The last trophy to get in this game was to reach level 50 on King Shark. This took an extremely long time. At this point, I just wanted everything to be over. As soon as I finished that incursion mission, I got the most satisfying sound in existence. And it was getting that notification of that platinum trophy. It actually made me wet, to be honest. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and hit that like button because this took me an extremely long time to make. If you'd like to see me go clinically insane, let me know which other games you want me to get platinum. I'm also going to take a shower because I smell like Shrek's butt cheeks.